So today we're talking about ways that you can reuse some of the materials that you generate during the holidays, but it's also a really great reminder to just um, really work on what we're placing in the recycle bin before we take it to the curb. Because during this time of uh, season, we see a lot of things end up in recycling that could have been reused and or shouldn't be there in the first place. So we're just gonna go through a couple of materials and um, yeah, these are kind of the most commonly found um, no-nos during the holiday season for recycling. So kind of as a good baseline, anything that is crinkly, that makes a noise um, like this, the cellophane material, should not ever go in your recycle. This is perfect to reuse. Excuse me. This is perfect to reuse for next year or a, or a birthday, but this should not go in your recycle. And if you need to throw it away, you should throw it away. Tissue paper, I know it does still make that crinkling noise, but this can go in your curbside uh, container. This is a paper fiber and um, yeah, it's, it's safe for you to put it in your roll cart or it's safe to take to one of the Glenwood transfer stations and um, you can recycle it. Boxes are really good reuse materials. So I try to reuse my boxes every year, um, especially some of these Dick's Sporting Good boxes. Um, apparel typically comes into it, so it's, it's easy to just reuse this for the next year. Um, but if you have to recycle this material, um, this can go curbside too. So um, that should be recycled. We, we sometimes find uh, little kind of metal boxes, which people typically want to put metal into the recycling container, but something like this should really be donated or it should be reused. This, this could easily, uh, you could put some tissue paper in it, some candies or some fudge, and that could be a really lovely gift next year to um, give to a friend or a loved one or a neighbor. Cards. These, the envelope and the card, um, can both go into your curbside recycling container. So that's another thing that you absolutely can recycle. Uh, this bag was uh, chocolate, um, Belgian chocolates. What I really loved about this is after we got this as a gift, you can easily remove this tag and it can be used as a gift bag uh, for the next year. And so this is definitely reusable. And um, you don't want to recycle this, though, because it's got the ribbon, it's got the cord, and those uh, sort of contaminants um, get in the processing equipment and it just becomes a problem. So definitely don't do that. Um, I just wanted to show this as a potential uh, contaminant for recycling because it's that shiny cellophane uh, paper that should not go into your recycling container. Uh, we received this from Harry and David's and it's got this really loose fill. This cannot go into your recycle container. It should be bagged in a paper bag. You can bring that to Glenwood, but um, this, when it gets dumped on the recycling floor, it flies away and it becomes a really big nuisance. So I tell people to either compost this or um, I tell people to reuse it for the next year or bag it in a paper bag and then dispose of it that way in the recycling container. And then of course, the box can be reused next year. 